Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be in my Thrive Bible, and I'll be using a kit that you just saw, two kits, one from Beautiful Good News, and the other one is from His Palette. And I'll be journaling in Psalm 123 and Psalm 25. It just ministered to me as I was reading it, and I've been meditating on it, and it just blessed me so much, and I just want to do a quick video and share with you guys what I gleaned from the chapter in the Psalms, and that's it. Thank you for watching, and remember, if I came back with journal, so can you. Take care. Here we are in Psalm 123. This is my study journaling Bible. I don't do anything in this Bible aside from taking notes. I'm transferring notes from my old Greek and Hebrew study Bible and putting them in here so that I can have one place where I can refer to my notes. And this is where I jotted my notes down for today's entry. And in Psalm 123, Verse 1 says, I lift my eyes to you, the one enthroned in heaven. That verse stuck out to me. And then after that, it says, like a servant's eyes on his master's hand, like a servant's girl's eyes on her mistress's hand. So our eyes are on the Lord, our God, until he shows favor, shows us favor. And in this time, this period of time, as usual, the people of God were in rebellion. And when the people of God in those times get into rebellion, the Lord allowed them to go into captivity or be taken by their enemies. And so in order for them to cry out to him for help, he's always willing and, and ready to show mercy, but he had to teach them a lesson. He's always teaching us and them a lesson. And we cannot rebel against God because scripture tells us in the New Testament that he chastens those he loves. So he does correct us. He does discipline us. He does um, admonish us in his word so that he can bring us back to obedience to him. And they said, like the slave, like the mistress's girl, look to them. We look to you. And I thought that was just so profound that the Lord would use that example um, for the person who penned this word here to use that as an illustration. And when I looked it up, I learned that the servant girl, and it makes sense, the servant girl, the mistress, they look to their master for direction. They look to their master for discipline. They get disciplined by their master. They get provided for by their master. They get instruction and correction all from their master. So when you see movies, unfortunately, of, of slavery or even things that have to do with servants, you see their, their eyes are intently on their master. Wherever their master goes, they go. Whatever their master wants, they give. Whatever their master says, they do. And that's just the illustration of how God wants us to view him. And this is the people crying out to the Lord saying that we're going to look to you, Lord, the same way that they look to their masters. We want you to be our master again. Have mercy on us because now we become a spectacle to our enemies. And in this Psalm 25, which I am in right now, it says, he teaches them his covenant. My eyes are always on the Lord. He rescues me from the traps of my enemies. And then some of the previous verses talks about, leave me by your truth and teach me for you are the God who saves me. All day long, I put my trust in you. Do not remember the rebellious sins of my youth. We always look to the Lord for mercy and forgiveness and for, for guidance. His word is a continual spring of everlasting life. It just goes on and on and on. And we look to him and I ask the Lord to open my eyes that I may see Christ more. Open my eyes to your word, Lord God, and I will obey. We can look to him for everything that we need. And this is why this message or this scripture blessed me so much because just as the mistress's servant girl or the slave looks to their master, we look to our Lord and Savior for instruction, for correction, for guidance. And I pray that my eyes are open to see him as he wants to be seen in light of his word. This time I chose to be thematic. I wanted something that had to do with eyes and I knew that I had a beautiful good news kit. Use code Sherry20, you get 20% off. I knew that had to do with eyes and then I bought this kit from his palette and she was looking unto him, which is the title of it. And it reminded me so much of my mom in her younger days. So the two of them together had a twofold meaning for me and I had to use that in my kit for this particular entry. I hope you were encouraged and inspired by this quick video. Take care.